Well, as much fun as this two-tote fish tank experiment has been, it is officially time to replace it. I want to put the fish into a shape much more like what I plan on building them. So for that, we got a new rubber made, which would be this monstrous thing here. Ultimately, this should hold more water than the current fish tank does, even if it is a bit of a pain to switch it over. So let's get doing that. Pull out the pump. Which apparently could use a good cleaning itself. <laughs> that little pump has been working every day for what about 10 months now since we've been on that pump? Well, sounds about right. Another watt fish tank heater. Seen better day. So, in order to switch these two tanks over, obviously I'm going to have to catch all my fish here. It does give me an opportunity to see just how many feeder fish are left after the lobsters did their damage. And it's always good fun trying to do a little greenhouse fishing. If only I could catch that many when I went to the lake. Of course, if I'm catching goldfish at the lake, I got bigger issues. is going to be a little harder to catch the fish in because this is where I have my standing drain pipe and I'm not entirely sure that I can take that out while the water level is this high but if it proves to be too much of a problem I can always lower the water level and have another go Hey, I got blue on the first try. That's one of our first fish here. Can you zoom in on that? This fish was only slightly larger than your average pet store feeder fish when it first came to live with us. I'd say blue has grown somewhat. A little bit. You're all watching Finding Nemo this morning. They're swimming down. Uh, those ones turned into the net. <clears throat> you call that one splashy. Well, sounds like I still got some rocks and such in the bottom of that. Sure, the fish will let me pet them, but they won't let me net them. <laughs> That's funny. In a sick kind of way, that is funny. I think I am going to take the drain off. Oh. What a fascinating project and experiment this has turned out to be. Look how filthy that is. That is. We I still think if I do one of these again, I should set that where? In a bucket so we can use that in the compost. Oh, poor fish. 
I still think if I do that again, oh, it's already in there with them, then I'll definitely uh, cut lines in it as compared to drilling the holes. I think that the line will probably create a better space to travel through. Or I just won't use such small fish and I'll leave the bottom end of the tube straight up open. Hmm. Still quite a bit of fish in there. Yeah, there are. I started pulling stuff out because he's elusive. Um, if you want to move that to another bucket, that'd be great. Just as uh, I'm quite amazed by how large some of these fish are, I'm quite amazed by how small some of these fish still are too. There's a little tiny white one in here. He don't look like he's grown at all. Oh. I'm not even sure if I was chasing a real fish or not. Oh, there is still a black one in here. It's a nightmare. The water's low enough too, we can pull it out to fish the rest of them out. Yeah, I suppose we can because I don't think I'm getting those last ones. <laughs> Obviously, I've got to separate these two totes, and I really cranked that on there when I got the bulwark fitting, because I was quite tired of leakage. On the upside, it hasn't leaked since the last fixing the dual tote fish tank video, but I'm pretty sure these fittings are going to be pretty much garbage for anything else. I always try them as a watering thing on the uh, strawberry tower. Collected rather a lot of filth. I don't know if you can get a good shot of that. Oh, wow. Uh, perhaps I should have watched the video on how I put this together because it doesn't seem to want to come apart how I was expecting it to. All right, well, we finally uh, managed to separate that bulkhead fitting. And uh, clearly, I can see two, possibly even four fish in the, the one tank here. So they might just have to get poured into the next one. We'll see. I think the next step of this is going to be a little ugly because i got to move the table here with all my seedlings on it. Do an update in a week or so, maybe when some of these things have sprouted, let you know just kind of what I've got going there. But, uh, all right, let's get some more water out of these things and move them on out. Well, now that absolutely all of the fish have been caught, we can kind of get a look. That water's looking pretty murky. But we can kind of get a look and see just how many of them there are. And apparently, it's quite a few. I'm going to count those up and I'll put the total number at the end of the credits just in case you're as curious as I am. Okay, so we got to check the width on this. My pump sits in front, so I'm going to have to make sure that it's forward a little bit. And I want to make sure that my drains will actually shoot down where they're supposed to. But, conveniently, I got a piece of blue foam insulation kicking around. That seems to be the perfect size to go underneath that. That should help keep a little bit of heat in here this winter. Put my drains back on. Probably gonna need to tighten the top of that. And I'll need a different piece. 
piece for that. So how come you need a different piece? Well, because this was in the pump tank, which the water level was considerably lower, I could have a nice long drain on there, which kept the water focused and I didn't get a lot of splashback sound, nor did I lose a lot over the edge. But um, with the single water level that's going to be in here, and I can already see we're going to need to level this blue plank a little bit. But with the single water level that's going to be in here, I can't let it drop in there because it won't have this, the right draining effect when it's uh, submerged. I tested that theory last year. It didn't really work. Fun test, though. All right, so a little fiddling with this, and I'll be on my way. Well, after much fiddling about, we finally got this uh, new tank set up. Had to put a piece of plywood underneath the insulating foam to kind of level it out a little bit. That should work. Just testing for drips in the drains before I add too much water to this system. How many more liters of water do you think this tank is going to hold? More than the dual totes or more than we've got? More than the dual totes? Um, I think it works out to be another 30 or 40, but that doesn't necessarily account for where these holes are. Right. So. Well, it looks pretty good in there. We'll see how it looks once things settle down and the fish get a chance to... Where's the pump? There it is. ...knock things about. Cool. The beds look so naked without any plants in the back. So now we're going to fill it up? Yes, we are. All right. Because that was the of our spinach had itself to accident. <laughs> With my heavy pouring. Well, there's number three. Welcome to your new home, buddy. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, are you going to give away the answer? You're actually going to do the guess how many fish. Oh, it's still guess how many fish. It's not taping at all. Eight, nine, ten. And we'll get a shot when they're all in here. Because I don't want to give away the answer. Check the end of the credits. So all in all, I don't think the lobsters ate too many of them. But doesn't it look fabulous in there now? This is a shot for the guests of fish. So once again, these Folgers tents for everything. Help the fish get settled into their new home. Fresh feeding. See if they're hungry enough to go for it yet. I suppose that doesn't help for those of you who are still trying to count the fish. I would tend to suggest the pause button is your best bet.
So just a quick afterthought that I figured I should add on here. As you can see, the Rubbermaid is very much bowing out here in the middle. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to take some plywood and I'm going to reinforce the sides using a couple of ratchet down straps. Well, there is a super cheap, super simple solution. I had the plywood lying around, and that strap was whopping $1.99 plus taxes. And as you can see, it's clearly corrected the bow in the Rubbermaid bin. There you go, a worthwhile afterthought. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. And the winner is a total of 52. 52 fish.